indicated by the inability to oxygenate and ventilate by other means, such as bag valve mask, LMA or endotracheal intubation. This commonly used can't intubate, can't oxygenate kit has a Leroy jet ventilation set. This is a simple to use, readily available, inexpensive kit. We will demonstrate the cannula cricothyroidotomy. The kit comes with its own tray, just add a 10ml of normal saline. For adults, use a large bore cannula. Draw up a few mils of normal saline into the 5ml syringe. Attach to the non-safety cannula by removing the plastic plug. You are now ready to go. Take the Leroy tubing set, which is one piece. Identify the standard oxygen attachment and attach to the wall. Oxygen running at 10 litres per minute. Unravel the tubing to lay the delivery end on the chest of the patient. You are now ready to insert the cannula. Have the cannula ready attached to the syringe and good to go. Identify the thyroid and cricoid cartilage and membrane in between. The cannula is inserted at 45 degrees, withdrawing as you go. Noting bubbles as you enter the trachea. Now slide the cannula over the needle into the trachea up to the hub. Safely discard the sharp. Take the Leroy device and attach the lure lock to the cannula. Continue to anchor the cannula for security during these steps. Commence ventilation by simply occluding the open port. An initial insulation of 4 seconds followed by a ratio of 1 to 4. When the Leroy kit is not available, common use items may work. One setup includes two 5ml syringes, cannula and oxygen tubing. Always test and practice with your equipment. Each department may be different and have different oxygen tubing, different 5ml syringes and you need to make sure that the connection works. We're going to demonstrate the same process using the simple setup that should be available in most emergency departments. As with the Leroy setup, have 2 ml of normal saline in the syringe and attach it to the cannula. Identify the cricothyroid membrane and stabilize with the non-dominant hand. Insert the cannula at 45 degrees. Apply negative pressure and see bubbles on entering the trachea. Anchor the needle and advance the cannula over the needle. Into the airway until the hub rests on the skin surface. Attach the other 5ml syringe to the cannula and aspirate tracheal air to 5ml to reconfirm position. Remove the plunger from the syringe and then simply perform the first insulation by inserting the oxygen tube into the end of the 5ml syringe. There is a seal. Inflate for 4 seconds and wait for chest rise. For any method, some key points to remember. The oxygen supply should be connected to 10 litres per minute of oxygen. Secure the cannula hub to the skin with tape after the first insufflation. Inflate 2 to 4 seconds watching for chest rise. The I to E ratio ranging from 1 to 4 but can be up to 1 to 8 in complete obstruction. A 5% fall from maximal oxygenation prompts further insufflation. Placing nasopharyngeal airways and oropharyngeal airways may aid exhalation. 